Hello there guys and welcome to my original versus remake and review of Salem's Lot. When Ben Mears was young and living in Jerusalem's Lot, also known as Salem's Lot, some friends got him to do a truth or dare and take something from the old Marston house that overlooks the town as part of a rite of passage, while in the house snooping around witnesses a murder that happened there. Now as an adult and a very successful novelist returns to his childhood home of Salem's Lot, he seems very frightened and attracted to the Marston house at the same time. He finds out if the house is available for sale or rent, although someone else has taken the house, a man with the name of Richard Straker and his current unseen partner known as Kurt Barlow. Straker owns an antique store and gets delivery men to collect a valuable sideboard which in fact is the vampire Barlow sleeping inside a crate style of coffin. They are told to take it to the Marston house while Straker is away on business. When delivering the so-called sideboard, it starts getting very cold in the cabin of the van. Later, the town is overrun by vampires and it's up to the novelist Ben Mears and a young horror fan to save it from damnation. Salem's Law is based on the novel by Stephen King and the first and the original movie here is directed by Toby Hooper who uh, did the Texas Chainsaw Massacre which is another really cool film but in my opinion the original film is the best and the sequel is really good too which is called A Return to Salem's Lot, which I'll do a review of in the future few days. But um, this is a really cool movie, and, um, you know, the story is pretty good, and, um, you know, just all-round good fun. But on to the remake. The remake, you know, they, they, there's no point of it, really, you know? But, um, you know, I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong. It was a good film. It was a good, um, you know, ab abdication of the uh, novel again, but... You know, it didn't really need to be done, but it was good fun to watch different, you know, different, you know, different actors, act, you know, playing the roles of like Ben Mears and different people. Because uh, in this one, you've got Rob Lowe playing the character of um, Ben Mears, like in the original film, it was played by um, David Soul. Um, in the remake, you have Andre Broher. Donald Sutherland, Samantha Mathis, Ruka Howard, and James Cromwell starring in it. And um, Ruka Howard plays Bar uh, Barlow. And, um, and uh, Donald Sutherland plays um, Straker. And, um, you know, it's a pretty cool film, but, um, you know, the, ele the elements in both films, some of the elements in the remake is the same. But it's not as good as the original because, you know, with it being a remake, it had to be a little bit different. And, um, yeah, that's my opinion on it. That, uh, you know, it's got to be a tiny bit different with it being a, you know, different type of story. Like the original is um, based in the uh, 1970s. And the, uh, the remake is based of, like, in today, in the modern day. Um, you know, I'd like to know what you think of these films in the comments section of this video. But yeah, this is my um, original versus remake and review of Salem's Lot. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, goodbye and take care.